Hello today's video we have the following content. The Long River of the World, if Luo Jin is a little bit lame, he can't suppress these supporting actors with explosive acting skills. November is usually a dull period for domestic film and television dramas. After the summer season, the discussion of domestic dramas has not been very hot recently, but even so, there are still many good dramas to meet the audience. The TV series The Long River of the World has just been broadcast for two episodes, and the ratings have exceeded 0.5, firmly occupying the first place in the prime time of satellite TV. In terms of word of mouth, most of them are good reviews, ushering in a good start. Some netizens directly said, I learned from the trailer that the crew specially dug a yellow river, and the scene setting took five months. The texture of the pictures in the play is very good, and some netizens said, in the discussion of being an official, the personalities of the three people are particularly prominent, and they have different ideas about the way of being an official. Anyway, in terms of the texture of the work and the highlights of the plot, the long river of the world definitely meets the expectations of the audience. But in addition to this, the actors are the key and core of this drama. From the perspective of this theme, many viewers will be attracted to this work, all because the actor's portrayal is so touching. Luo Jin portrays Emperor Kangxi, and he is in the play as soon as he appears. In fact, most viewers think that Luo Jin gives people a more introverted impression, and he is suitable for playing the kind of modest gentleman type role. Even if he played a crown prince in Crane Hua Ting, he was suppressed. In the play, he fulfilled the responsibilities of a minister and a son, but he was still guarded by the emperor. What the audience felt from him was not the emperor's momentum, but the helplessness and sadness of being born in an emperor's family. So before the long river of the world was launched, the audience did not have much hope for the role of Kangxi played by Luo Jin. But who would have thought that he could play well as soon as he appeared and kept the audience? The Yellow River flooded and the river was destroyed. The 600,000 soldiers on the front line were so hungry that their eyes were red, but the food and grass in the rear could not be delivered. Luo Jin played Kangxi anxious and angry. But the officials around him would only use its hard to defy fate to make excuses for themselves. Kangxi had no choice but to ask fate. This was not only an answer to the officials, but also a bit of self-mockery. Just these two simple words, Kangxi's unwillingness is fully displayed. Officials can deceive their superiors and perfunctorily do things, but he can't. He asked angrily, it is fate that I, the Qin Dynasty, dominate China, but it doesn't want me to withdraw from Shan Hagbin in disgrace. When he said this line, Luo Jin widened his eyes, his whole face was deformed in red, and the bloodshot in his eyes reflected not only unwillingness, but more anger. With just this one line, Luo Jin performed the king's courage. Through his portrayal, the audience can see the sobriety and rationality of the character. He doesn't believe in fate at all, and he will never bet the lives of the frontline soldiers in the future of the Quang dynasty on the so-called fate. Of course not, except for the leading actor Luo Jin, the supporting actors in the long river of the world are all very strong. If it weren't for the aura of the role of Kangxi, and Luo Jin's stable and excellent acting skills, Luo Jin would not be able to control the supporting roles in this drama. Wang Zizhong takes the lead and plays a loyal minister. The first outstanding supporting role is Jin Fu played by Wang Zizhong. This man is honest and upright as an official, and he is particularly calm and composed. When the Yellow River flooded seriously, it was he who stood up to stabilize the hearts of the people, so that the people who were retreating took up tools to resist the flood. When he appeared, he was wearing official uniforms, with a firm look in his eyes, using his body to block the flow of water, and working with the people in tattered linen clothes. But at this time, those river officials who withheld the silver for building the embankment were still praying to God and worshipping Buddha at home, smooth in relationships everywhere, deceiving the superiors and concealing the subordinates, and even wanted to use Jin Fu as a scapegoat to deal with the work. In the end, this very courageous loyal minister was actually stripped of his official uniform, taken to the capital, and charged with embezzling public funds for river management, and became a prisoner. The next scene was Wang Zizhong's highlight moment in the whole drama. Ming Su was ordered to interrogate the case of corruption. Wang Zizhong's hair was disheveled and dripping with rain, and he looked very embarrassed. But when he opened his mouth, he was generous and calm. He asked back, what's the use of money? Then, he neither pleaded nor defended himself, but took this opportunity to recommend a talent for river management to Emperor Kangxi. In Wang Zizhong's performance, life and death seemed to be of no concern. It was meaningful for him to live for the country and the people. Di Rinji became a corrupt official who played power games, and his acting skills were excellent. 
In Mai Yang Wan Hu's acting career, the most recognized role was Di Rin Ji, but in fact, he could play more than just the kind of detective who was good at insight. In The Long River of the World, he played So Tu, who looked honest, but was actually full of bad water and was particularly greedy. He said one thing in front of people and another behind their backs. In the first episode, Kang Xi, played by Luo Jin, was furious because of the flood and the problem of fodder. Suoe Tu, who was next to him, knelt on the ground, sweating all over. In the close-up, the big beads of sweat were hanging on his forehead. He must be afraid, after all, the governor of the river was recommended by him. In the play, Wang Duangayu got a lot of benefits when he was the governor of the river, and Suoe Tu knew this very well. Now the governor of the river is in trouble because of the flood of the Yellow River, and Suoe Tu wants to quickly distance himself from it. He said that he should kill Wang Guangai first, so that he can shut up and save himself. In this scene, Liang Wanhu's Suoe Tu's little thoughts are all written on his little expression when he argues with Ming Su and insists on killing Wang Guangai. Guanglei's acting style changes drastically, making jokes and flattering. In terms of character setting, Ming Su and Suoe Tu, played by Gong Lei, are both important ministers beside Kangxi. Kangxi's use of Ming Su was actually a way to suppress So Tu's power. Compared with So Tu, Ming Su was better at reading people's faces and winning people's hearts. In the play, this characteristic of the character was shown in a dramatic way. In a scene with Luo Jin, Ming Su, played by Gong Lei, knelt on the ground, while Kangxi sat cross-legged and looked down at him. Ming Su felt that killing Wang Guangai casually would not be good for the situation, and future generations would say that the emperor has ways to kill people, but no ability to manage rivers. As soon as this came out, Kangxi's face changed immediately, and Ming Su hurriedly made a joke and confessed his guilt first, saying the slave deserves to die. However, Kangxi was not someone who could be manipulated by his ministers. He followed Ming Su's idea and agreed to postpone the punishment of Wang Guangai. If someone impeached him, Kangxi would pull Ming Su out to take responsibility, demote him by two levels, and make up for it after this storm passed, and reward him with a yellow jacket. Since the emperor said so, Ming Su could only agree. He smiled awkwardly, and was in a dilemma for a few seconds. Then he moved his knees and took two steps forward, lying on the side of the emperor's bed. Then he said with joy, Your Majesty, I am willing to accompany you to play Zhou Yu and Wang Gai, so please rest assured. In just one scene, Ming Su's characteristics of being good at observing words and expressions and doing things in a comprehensive manner were highlighted. But this performance style is actually completely different from the tough guy and boss image that Gong Lei has created on the screen in the past. In short, the drama The Long River of the World is not only interesting in terms of the plot, but also in terms of the actor's portrayal. The main actors in the drama have performed the distinctive personalities of the characters, colliding with each other, and each of them is a shining point. Luo Jin is the male lead. Although he supports the highlights of The Long River of the World, from the perspective of the plot, the wonderful supporting roles are also particularly critical, which puts a lot of pressure on Luo Jin's performance. Now, if Kangxi is not charming and Luo Jin's acting skills are not strong, he really can't suppress the group of powerful actors around him. Next news. The broadcast volume of The Long River of the World has exceeded 600 million, and it has won six championships in 11 days. These five major supporting roles have made great contributions. In particular, the historical drama The Long River of the World on Mango TV has become a big hit as soon as it was launched. Why is this drama so popular? The star and actors are Luo Jin, Wang Hong, and others. On the one hand, the other and most important aspect is that the story of this drama is really grand and magnificent. It not only tells the well-known major events of the Kangxi dynasty, such as the pacification of the three feudatories, the training of the navy, etc. It also tells things that the public does not know, such as the management of the Yellow River by Jin Fu and Chen Wang. There is a historical background and personal heroism. This is the most special part of this The Long River of the World. Of course, in addition to these reasons, the acting skills of several major supporting roles in the play are really eye-catching. Especially these few supporting roles, as soon as they appeared, they really stole the role of the protagonist. Who are they? Please listen to Kinking slowly. The first golden supporting role, teacher Zai Mijuan. Zai Mijuan's role in the play this time is the role of Empress Dowager Zai Asuhong. This role is easy to play, after all, most of it is literary drama, and for an old actor like Zai Mijuan, it is indeed easy to play in minutes. But it is not easy to play, 
and it is indeed not easy to play. After all, Siking Gao was Empress Dowager Ziyaz Hun is there, and it is indeed impossible to surpass. But the good news is that this time, the role of Empress Dowager Ziyaz Hun interpreted by teacher Zai Mijun is really applauded. Why did King King give such a high evaluation to teacher Zai Mijun's performance? It is mainly because teacher Zai Mijun played Ziyaz Hun as a real person. In the past, Ziyaz Hun was high above, making the audience feel very far away. But this time, Zaya Asuang interpreted by teacher Zai Mijuan makes people feel that she is just an ordinary old lady. Especially the scene where she chats with Kangxi, there is indeed a sense of family affection. Of course, the most successful part of teacher Zai Mijuan's Zaya Asuang is when she is domineering. When Kangxi couldn't deal with the leaders of the Eight Banners, Zaya Asuang made a move, which really made everyone obedient, especially the scene where she came out to warn Ning Su and Su over to, which was simply a classic. First, she used the introduction that relatives of the emperor were not allowed to interfere in politics, and then directly pointed out that Ming Su and Su Ogtu should not have any thoughts. After such a war, Zaya Asuan's character was really brought to life. It can be said that teacher Zai Mijuan's version of Zaya Asuan is definitely better than Siking Gao was, and it is really outstanding. The second golden supporting role, Gao Shiki played by Lu Siyu. At the beginning, Everyone probably thought that Gao Shiki played by Lu Sinai was just a minor supporting role. But in the later period, the role of Gao Shiki was really surprising. Especially in these few scenes, Lu Sinai really played the character of Gao Shiki, a sly, calculating, and scheming person. The first scene is the scene where Gao Shiki was sent by Kangxi to mediate the dispute between the Governor General of Liangjiang and Jin Fu. Kangxi had sent a bookworm, Su Kuiang Su, to the Imperial Envoy but he was helpless in the end. But when Gao Shiki came, the situation was reversed instantly. He first used thundering means in front of Jin Fu to force the governor of Liangjiang, Azixi, to surrender. Just when everyone thought he was an honest official who would arrest Azixi and return to report, who would have thought that he would burn the evidence in front of Azixi and sell Azixi out? Seeing this scene at the time, I was really shocked. What kind of official is Gao Shiki? How can he please both sides? Of course, this is only one aspect. What really makes people smack their lips is such a scene. That is, when Kangxi learned that Wu Sangui was defeated and the three feudatories rebellion was lifted, he was ecstatic, and the ministers also sang praises. But only Gao Shiki wrote words in front of Kangxi, asking him to be prepared for danger in times of peace and not to get carried away. In this play, we can see that Gao Shiki is a bold and careful person who is good at research and good at understanding human nature. Such a character can actually become the protagonist, which is why Gao Shiki became the focus as soon as he appeared, because his role and acting skills are indeed capable. The third golden supporting role, Yu Zhenjia played by Su Kei. When Yu Zhenjia appeared, he felt like Hai Rui in the Ming Dynasty 1566. He is upright and can't tolerate any sand in his eyes. But this character, the more you look back, also has his cuteness and madness. For example, these two plays are the highlights of this play. One play is the play where Chen Wang tricks Yu Zhenjia into robbing official grain. At first, Yu Zhenjia said he disagreed with everything because it was not in line with his morality. But when Yu Zhenjia was alone, when he was reflecting on himself, especially when he thought about saving the lives of ordinary people in a county. At the end, his madness, the plot where he dragged Chen Wang to rob the government grain, really made people feel like they were watching Jiang Wen's Let the Bullets Fly. Of course, in addition to the madness, the cuteness of this character also makes people reluctant to fast forward for a second. That is, Chen Wang dragged him to drink. He said at first that his mother didn't allow him to drink, but in the end, after Chen Wang dragged him to taste it, he couldn't stop. The first bowl, he drank too fast and didn't feel the taste. The second bowl was a little interesting, but he drank too quickly. The third bowl, the fourth bowl. Of course, the more interesting is still to come, that is, after he got drunk, he went back and was forced by his mother to move bricks as punishment. That play is also amazing. It's a complete comedy effect. In fact, in addition to these scenes, Yu Zhenji also has clips of trying cases and clips of poetry with Chen Wang, which are all amazing. This is a good actor. Obviously, it is a small supporting role, but he shines in a limited role. The fourth major supporting role, Ming's who played by Gong Lei. Gong Lei in everyone's eyes actually comes mainly from two dramas. One drama is Lin Zong Hu in Ice Breaking Operation. The other is Dong Shu in Ice Rain and Fire. In these two dramas, 
Guang Lei played the ruthlessness of a drug dealer to perfection. In this The Long River of the World, Guang Lei played a flattering, but also scheming and scheming Ming Xiong to life. Especially the scene where he first appeared to pay homage to Kangxi, it was really the ceiling of flattery. Kangxi was in the rain, and Ming Zhu, who originally came with an umbrella, saw that the emperor was also in the rain, and he quickly asked the eunuch beside him to throw away the umbrella. And this was not enough, he even deliberately smeared a little mud and water from the ground on himself to increase the sense of reality. Just this one detail is enough to prove Gong Lei's acting skills. The fifth major supporting role, Suo or two played by Mr. Liang Guanhua. From the resourceful Di Rinji to the somewhat reckless Suo Xiang. Teacher Liang Guanhua's span is not small, but to be honest, Liang Guanhua is worthy of being an old actor and a national first-class actor. He brought the character of Suo Tu to life with just a few details. For example, he played the character of Mrs. Meng with just a few details. One is that he loves to write poems even though he is not good at writing. In the end, he was accidentally tricked by Gao Shiki, and when Suo Ritu, who was angry and embarrassed, returned home, he personally hung Gao Shiki up and beat him. Just this scene is quite interesting. Of course, Suo Ritu could not become the most popular person in front of Kangxi just by the character of Mrs. Meng. Suo Ritu also has his own schemes and thoughts. For example, when the governor general of Liang Jiang, A6E, and Jin Fu had a conflict, a also invited people to the capital, hoping that Suo Tu would come forward to help. But how did Suo Tu do it? He directly told a not to go against Jin Fu. After all, what His Majesty is thinking about now is the safety of the Yellow River, so there is no need for a to make trouble with Jin Fu. Later, Kangxi sent Gao Shiki to deal with a which actually proved that Suo Tu's judgment was correct. So, Mr. Liang Wanhua really grasped Suo Tu's character. There is a reckless side and a meticulous side. This is a good actor, and this is an old actor with a thorough understanding. Although the above characters are only supporting roles in the play, to be honest, as soon as they appeared, they really caught the audience's attention, and even stole the limelight from the protagonists. This is the truth, there are only small actors, no small roles. No matter how small the role is, they can shine. With this group of actors, the ratings of the Long River of the World can easily win the first place. It is really justified. What do you think? Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel, 